Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I was just uh, tormenting myself by listening to Obama. I, I could only take it for a little over six minutes, almost seven minutes, um, with his statements about the recent uh, murder in Connecticut, you know, and now the big push to take everybody's guns again. Um, come on, people. Wake the fuck up, okay? Inanimate objects do not kill anybody. Uh, okay, this world has gone fucking insane, and your president is insane, and you're insane for electing him or tolerating him. Okay, let, let's just review a few facts, and, and hopefully uh, you'll come out of this with, with a different way of thinking um, if you're one of those people that insist that assault rifles aren't necessary. Well, well, neither is the fucking SUV in your yard, neither is the gold watch on your hand, neither is most of the lusts that Americans now have. That's irrelevant. That's all right. If we want to be lustful and boastful and wave a big gun with many bullets in it around, that is our right. Um, I don't need it, but I'm not going to take away someone else's right who does like that. And quite honestly, with the way this country's going, I would like to see a few more people have assault weapons in their homes um, so that we can protect this land as citizens, uh, citizen militia, uh, because we're going to need to. So, and that's why they're being taken. But l let's just not go there today. Let's just review a few facts, okay, before you vote uh, and agree that people should have their guns taken away because a mentally ill child uh, took an abundance of guns to a school and killed a bunch of kids, as far as we're told. And, and I'm not even completely sure that this is a real story that, that happened out of circumstance or if it was perpetrated by the government. I, I'm not uh, completely sure of either one. But I, I do know this. I, I do know that the violence that we've accepted in our video games, let, let's check out some of that. Boys 8 to 18 uh, spent 40 minutes a day playing computer or video games. The number of violent interactions in 10-minute play period ranged from 2 to 124, okay? Uh, they witnessed over 180 incidents of aggression or 5,400 incidents per month. 98% of the game surveyed aggression went unpunished. Let, let's consider that because it is relevant. Look at your kids, okay? Uh, society in general, and my kids are no different. Even though I've raised them with, with core ethics, uh, they still, the language is a constant thing. Everybody's a bitch. Um, it, one of their first reactions is to lash out. This is where society's going, even in the homes that have laid good foundations, because the majority of you don't spend enough time with your kids. The majority of you think it's okay to let them play fucking video games, which not only breed laziness, people, uh, they breed laziness, they, they short-circuit the brain and can lead to death, but they also uh, make aggression okay. It's fine. It goes unpunished. It is not fine. My kids aren't allowed to play those games. Um, they're not allowed in our house. I, I won't have it. I, I, they're very limited on any video game. But let's, I'll, I'll give you the link so you can do a little research here. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. Um, okay. And then, you know, there's some, just by Googling, you can get some more fucking information about the video games. I don't know if this kid played video games. I'm just saying most kids do, and now kids are killing kids. Okay, this is the real big deal right here. They want to take away your gun rights. But has any of the mainstream media talked to you about the psychotropic drugs that we're on, and especially our kids. Oh, if our kids become disobedient at school, oh, it's the first thing they want to do is put them on some kind of fucking pill, right? Okay, look at this. And this is from Fox News, not very credible, but I think this is probably pretty close. One in five American adults take psych psychiatric drugs. 49 millions Americans on psychiatric drugs. 
Americans' use of psychotropic medications on the rise. At least one in ten Americans are prescribed. So it goes on and on and on. Uh, okay, uh, I did see one study a while back that 65% of America is on some form of medication, but we'll stick to the psychotropic drugs, uh, which most of those could be replaced with marijuana therapy quite honestly. Do the research. I'm not going to give you any links to prove that because I'm sick of fucking uh, uh, busting my balls to give all this work and, and see s just such a limited number. And to my YouTubers, please, don't think I'm talking to you. You guys are awesome. You're awake. You're doing your thing. You're interacting. You're supporting. And it's awesome. But the percentages of people that were waking up that were actually getting to, to make a difference, it, it just seems like we're all killing ourselves for what? I, I don't, you know... We're, we're trying to wake people up. Okay, now they want to take away your guns. And um, at, at the at the edge of uh, an economic and societal collapse, okay, you, you did realize that hundreds of thousands of people have filed petitions in every state to secede from the government. You, you do realize that the Occupy movement, although not broadcast in your TV, is still active, that there is on so many levels a major uprising of the people and it doesn't really matter whether this is being instigated by a movement or if it's real or if it's not real it is it is happening and it's going to continue to happen because this is the thing people want america destroyed why do they want america destroyed well maybe because of the fact that we tromp around the globe and dictate how everyone else should live i mean just recently we're up iran's ass for wanting nuclear weapons but we blow up plutonium bombs in our own desert to see how safe they are okay the just one example of why others around the planet might not like America so much um, and I don't know if this is an exact statistic but it sounds right in one of Loki's songs he says that n since 1945 the United States has attempted to overthrow more than 50 foreign governments okay so we have a bunch of people around the world that don't like America we have Americans themselves waking up to understand that we're spending over 10,000 fucking dollars a second that our children now owe fifty two thousand dollars doesn't matter if they're ten years old doesn't matter if they just came out of the womb they owe that much we, we have all these evils okay and, w and there is going to be an uprising folks there's going to be a clear division between us in the sheep and the elite okay and the sheep are going to go uh, because they have no choice because they won't stand up they won't risk their lives they won't risk the, their stash of money or whatever it is they have they're going to side with the elite to keep what they have some of us don't really give a fuck what we have we want our freedom we want our children to breathe clean air drink clean water and eat unadulterated food and, and we don't want them, their money to be manipulated to the point that, that, that they owe tens of thousands of dollars before they're even born. We, we don't want that, and many of us don't want that. And those many of us are probably eventually going to realize that we can't do this peacefully because just like when you're a little kid and you're grounded and you say, Mommy, please don't punish me, and you've done wrong, you are going to be punished. Please doesn't get you anything. Please doesn't. No, we're way past, please, okay? It's going to come to the point that physical aggression will be necessary to make any change in this country. I don't know when it's happened, uh, when it's going to happen, but I, I don't see that people... You're not going to vote your way out of this, folks, okay? We've had that discussion back quite a while ago. I, I think I explained to you in the fuck you flat out, I won't comply rant that you voted your way into this and you continue to vote your way into this. The system doesn't work. So you're not going to change it by voting. You're not going to change it by asking please. You're not going to change it by peacefully protesting outside of anything. It's not going to change a goddamn thing. All it's going to do is cause a distraction and a division. That's all it is. But back to the guns. They want to take them. 49 million Americans on psychotropic drugs. Let's let's address that. Let's address the video games. Let's address the respect that we teach our kids. See, half of this is a governmental problem, and the other half falls on our laps as people. 
We need to start treating each other with respect. We need to start standing up. Okay, and if you think that taking guns is going to make the crime go down, it, it's like when the government takes anything away. Crime goes up because criminals will do whatever the fuck they want and they don't really care what you wrote down on paper. Okay, it's not going to make anybody safe. You're already as safe as you're going to be because the people that are responsible with their guns are not going to hurt you. They will protect you. And the ones that are not responsible are going to continue to get guns, even if they have to make them themselves. It's not a big stretch of the imagination to think that you can't build your own firearm. You can. Okay? You can steal them. You can do all kinds of criminal acts to get them. It's not going to stop anything. How do I know that? Let's take a look at Kennesaw, Georgia. Okay? If you don't know about Kennesaw, they made it a law that every household will have a gun and bullets and know how to use it. Now, although their crime is still going up because crime in America is going up, let's look at the statistics. Okay? Look. Kennesaw. In relation to Georgia. Georgia, a lot of crime, higher than the national average. But within Georgia, that one town, much less. Let, let's keep looking at this. Look, crime index, uh, violent crime. Look, what, what is this, a fifth? A, a fifth in that town? Because most of their inhabitants have a gun and know how to use it and are willing to stand up for their neighbor. See, that's key. When you're willing to stand up for your neighbor, not only to feed them when they're hungry, but to protect them when, when their rights or, or their, their privacy or their, their physical being is being compromised. Look at the statistics. It's a law that you have to own a gun there. And then obviously, they don't make everybody do that if you're a felon or if you just religiously believe you don't want anything to do with guns. But the majority of people have guns. I've visited towns in Arizona where most of the people carry a gun right on their hip. Not once did I feel intimidated. Not once was I threatened. Not once did I see anybody act out of violence. Oh, no. The ladies felt very safe in those towns that we visited. Um, wake up, people. Wake the fuck up. Some more statistics here on Kennesaw. I mean, look, on everything, they are so far below the national average and so far below even their own state. They all own guns. You should own a gun. Even if you never thought you had one, your right to is being taken away. And, and, and I recommend that everybody go buy a gun and learn how to use it and teach your children to, to use it, to respect it. It is a form of to feed yourself, it's a tool to feed yourself, and it is a tool to protect yourself. And in this world, if you don't have a gun, you're really not going to protect yourself. You can do all the Bruce Lee shit you want, okay? And sometimes that works. But the guy with the gun, He's, he's going to win. Your, your, your jiu-jitsu and, and all this stuff, you're flailing around and your grunts and groans that don't stop people from taking your wallet when they have a gun in their hand. But they're less likely to attack you when they see that you have a gun in your hand because they really don't want to risk their life. They just want to take your shit, okay? And again, I'm not even sure about this whole Connecticut shooting thing. Um... I, I don't, I've seen too much to even believe that it's true. After everything I've learned over the years, I don't even know for sure that it's true. But I do know, whether it was true or that it was set up, that there was a move to take your guns. And I do know that in places where guns are endorsed, there is less crime. That is the fact. I also know that if you justify violence and you feed it to your kids constantly and you make it okay, with no repercussion. You can kill fucking hundreds of people in 10 minutes and there's no repercussion. And it actually becomes fun to kill. Now you take that mindset and you put it in the hands of a kid that is on psych meds. Okay? You just, it, it's a cocktail for destruction, folks. Let's address the drugs. Let's address the video games. Let's address parenting skills. Let's, let's investigate alternative medicines for our children that do need some help. 
with some things. But let's not take away a right because somebody else lost their mind. That is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard of. And you know damn well alcohol prohibition didn't work. It only created more criminals. We're a police state as it is. We're going broke keeping people in fucking prison, but the elite are making money off it. But you got to pay for it. And you got to pay for it because you won't fucking stand up and put a gun in your pocket and tell the criminal when he comes up to you, listen, pal, you got about 30 seconds to get the fuck away from me or I'm going to put a chunk of lead in your brain. He goes on to the next guy. But you're too scared to do that. You want to ask everybody, please. I like to be as polite as possible as well. But I'm going to tell you, unless you get it through your brain, that it doesn't work for everybody. Start out with please. Absolutely. Please leave me alone today. It's not going to happen. Not to a criminal. Not. And, and let's talk about, you know, one thing we didn't touch on. Let's talk about all the drugs that are coming into this country. Because our soldiers are guarding the fields, the poppy fields. Think about all the drugs, the heroin, the opiates, all that. Has anybody considered that and all this? No, I know it doesn't relate to the situation in Connecticut. But they're throwing in all kinds of other statistics. If you go and listen to this, which good luck listening to very much of this asshole spew his filth. Because I, I had to choke down six and a half minutes. I can't take it anymore. I don't care what else he has to say. Okay, I don't. I don't even want to hear it. I don't want you to hear it. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm going to link you to it. But he starts putting out all these other statistics. This one killed here. That one killed there. People kill people. That's been that way since Christ was a baby and long before that. Okay? But let's talk about the reasons they kill. Uh, so many reasons. None of them are because they have a gun in their hand. The reason they kill is because, well, one in a million reasons. But it's not because they have a gun and they say, hey, I have a gun. I can kill people. No. They, they think about killing people first, and then they find the most effective way. Um, so, But they're not going to stop killing. If they want to kill, they're going to kill. Period. End of discussion. And I did see a great recommendation from somebody. How about putting our retired military in the schools? Okay? Uh, and, and I want to know how this kid got in there anyway. I mean, most schools I, I go to, they're they're locked. You know, you have to be recognized. How, how does this kid just walk into a school again? How? how? And, and do you think he would have gotten away with that if, if it, there has to be cameras there? Somebody had to see him, right? It, it, really? I don't believe the story, folks. I don't believe the story. And even if the story is true, even if it really did happen, a kid snapped, he gathered the guns because he knew where they were, they weren't locked properly, even if all that is true. It still does not give me the right to take your guns. It doesn't give you the right to take anyone else's guns. And it doesn't give this illegal fucking alien the right to take any of our rights. End of discussion. Enough said. Links will be below. Much love. Many thanks. And uh, I'll see you soon.